We are getting a look at the largest study of how COVID-19 patients are doing at some of our largest hospitals, and it could impact the reopening of the economy. Here's CBS 2's Tony Aiello. Northwell Health collected COVID-19 patient data at 12 of its hospitals for an investigation published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. The former Westchester Health Commissioner says it is important data for confronting the disease. Because knowledge in these cases truly is power. Men represented 60% of the 5,700 patients hospitalized with COVID-19. The most common underlying conditions were high blood pressure, obesity, and diabetes. Dr. Lipsman says the obesity angle needs more study. Obesity is along for the ride with COVID-19 because of some other underlying condition or concern, or it may be that there is something about obesity that does render a person more at risk for um, COVID-19. As the country considers reopening, temperature checks are one screening method under consideration. Someone would take one of those very quick uh, temperature checks, put you know, uh, in front of your forehead and wind up determining if you're, uh, if you're federal or not and keeping you out of whatever location you want to go into. The Northwell study found only 31% of patients had fever at intake, 20% presented with very low oxygen levels, while 43% had elevated heart rate, perhaps pointing to the need to measure those. Is it possible that a fingertip pulse oximeter will be just as valuable going forward as one of these forehead thermometers? Testing uh, blood oxygen and uh, heart rate may increase the yield of people who should be excluded from returning to open society. The study found 88% of patients on ventilators died. So it is good news that the number of intubations in New York continues to decline. Tony Aiello, CBS2 News.